let's talk about their Luna Classic and what exactly is going on. Uh, let's talk what do people believe in it and what they don't believe. A lot of people are saying um, and not noticing these updates that we're getting with Terra Luna. And that's going to be a huge thing that a lot of people want. Uh, what I'm pretty excited for is where Terra Luna is going to go next. Be sure to smash that like button. Uh, and Terra Luna Classic reestablished itself as a force in crypto ecosystem. Um, and what I am really, really, uh, what's really, really awesome is where is Terra Luna uh, go from here? So that being uh, said, can Terra Luna Classic even reestablish as a force in crypto ecosystem use cases? Can it come back? 50% saying yes. So half of the people are saying yes. Okay, so here's the deal. A lot of people aren't sure what's going to happen with Terra Luna Classic. And that's why a lot of people haven't been talking much about it. But 24% is not sure. 50% is saying yes. So that's a pretty big thing that I'm seeing right now. 50% being in it, uh, saying yes. But 24% just not sure where it's going to go. It could go up. It could go down. And Terra Luna Classic, you know, could reestablish if it gets developers. And and that's the big thing. We're going to get developers. 85 active validators on Luna Classic. So a lot of people, you know, who say have abandoned Terra Luna Classic actually haven't just moved my 7 million Luna Classic to my Terra wallet. Getting prepared my side. Cost me 1.5 Luna Classic to move off Crypto.com to Station. I mean... These validators, I'm guessing this means they can actually vote and stuff. And they can go, you know, for their own things. There has smaller voting power, which means two-thirds of the community. Two-thirds. Yeah, you heard that right. 66% of the validators have to vote. Have to vote for Terra Luna Classic to be alive. If, if not, I'm not sure where we're going to be going um, through with this for Terra Classic. They're not willing to burn or vote or yes, abstain. People shouldn't stake with them. You know, um, and it works kind of like this. You say, okay, you're my governor, right? You're going to vote for me. I'm going to give you my tokens. Just borrow. I'm going to borrow, but I can give any time back, right? Um, I'm going to give you my tokens. And you are going to vote for, for instead of me. You're going to make the right decisions. You're going to do the right stuff. And that's why people, sh you know, stake their Terra Luna. Um, sometimes they get rewards, you know, very small ones actually, because mostly it has been paused and, and it, it's like simply nothing. Um, but there's a lot of big, big uh, validators that are basically up. They're saying, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to help out my voters, my voters that are out there. I'm going to help them out. And if you guys want to burn, I can put my vote in. I can be pretty strong voter. Um, and together we can make, you know, great things like burn, all agree or are 66% or two thirds of more agree to burn the Terra Luna Classic. That's another big thing that I, I think a lot of people don't realize. Um, and, and that's when people vote. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below and I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Till next time, peace everyone.